With questions swirling recently about funding for the Macon Transit Authority, one of you contacted 13 WMAZ asking us to dig deeper into the costs of running Macon's bus system. That person asked us to compare that cost to what the MTA charges people to use it. Our 13 Investigates team broke down those numbers. Caitlin Heck explains what impact the recent budget battle could have for the Transit Authority moving forward. The wheels on some of these Macon Transit buses may not be going round and round for too much longer. Belts break, engines need to be overhauled, whatever. We have to maintain them. We just can't, we just can't trade them in on a new model. Transit Authority President Craig Ross says between maintenance and repairs, fuel, payroll and other expenses, costs to keep the Transit Authority running can really add up. It's $10,000 a day. We reported back in June revenue from riders makes up a very small portion of that. After that story aired, a 13 WMAZ viewer reached out to us asking what it cost the MTA per rider compared to the $1.25 charge per ride. So here's the math. In 2017, the MTA's cost of operations for its fixed routes totaled almost $4.5 million. Around 750,000 riders hopped on the buses, divide those numbers, and it comes out to nearly $6 per rider. That's almost five times what it actually costs you to ride. But Ross told us earlier this summer and still maintains that raising bus fares won't close that gap. The last time we raised fares was from a dollar to a dollar and a quarter and ridership dropped dramatically for one quarter. Ross says it's another example of why federal and county dollars are crucial to fueling MTA's operations, including the 16 new buses set to start hitting the roads this fall. But will the recent bid budget battle pump the brakes on getting them? The feds are coming up with the majority of the money. So they, they really don't care what happens on the local side, other than if we're not funded, for a period of time. Ross says the federal government has already approved 4.2 million for the buses. That's about 80% of the total. The state picked up the tab for another 10%. Bib commissioners approved funding for the other 10%, roughly 422,000 with SPLOS dollars. So those are already uh, budgeted items. So we're, we're, we're good with that. But Ross also says that money must be used for the new buses, okay. not to help with operational costs. Caitlin Heck, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Ross says other projects still a go two new electric or hybrid buses and a charging station. It's all part of a federal grant awarded to the MTA last year. Bib commissioners also committed more than a million dollars to match the federal funds. Craig Ross says they plan to break ground on the charging station within the next few months and will order the buses shortly after.